All right, my friends, we are in a warehouse here. You're probably wondering, what are we doing in a warehouse surrounded by all this fiberglass and acoustic treatments? Well, here's the deal. We're doing the Audioholic Smart Home. One of the most important things that are often overlooked when you're doing a very high-end home theater are the room acoustics and the sound isolation. And that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Hey folks, I'm Gene Della Sala with Audioholics and we have Walker Peak with Commercial Acoustics. How are you doing, my friend? Hey guys, thanks for having me. So we have another guy over here, you know Don. We don't need to introduce Don. Don, just say hello. Hello. Okay, so we are here with a company called Commercial Acoustics because I want to make the new Audioholic Smart Home Theater sound isolated as best as I can within the confines of what the builder is allowing me to do. So we called up Commercial Acoustics, who's a local company that has some very innovative products that will do just what I want to do. So I'm Walker Peak with Commercial Acoustics here in Tampa, Florida. Thanks so much for having me. Um, what we do is sound isolation between adjacent spaces. So whether it's a movie theater, commercial movie theater that needs an STC 65 or 70, or just a high-end condominium or apartments, um, what we focus on is target STCs or sound transmission class. Our products range from the wall blocker, which is our flagship product, which is a heavy duty mass loaded vinyl membrane. Uh, you guys know about MLV or mass loaded vinyl. It's a PVC based product. It's heavy duty, it helps uh, dampen the uh, transmission from drywall to studs, but also adds a lot of weight to the wall. Uh, what makes our product special is it grew up in the automotive industry. So that's stuff that goes underneath your cabin so you can't hear the roadway noise coming into your car on the highway. Uh, it's made out of EVA, ethyl vinyl acetate, and it's used to dampen the wall and add mass to soundproof the noise. Okay, so um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to turn the mic over to Don Dunn because Don does incredibly high-end home theater installations with HD 2020. And Don, I'm kind of curious as to what percentage of the home theaters that you install that use sound isolation in the rooms. Is that something that's becoming more of a focus when you're going forward with the business when you guys do installs? Hey Gene, um, this is Don with HD 2020. And that's a good question because probably about 30% 20 to 30 percent of the theaters that we do have some kind of sound blockage to prevent the sound from going out. A lot of that really has to do with the physical location of the room with the rest of the home. Sometimes a room that we choose to be a media or theater room is located in such a position where you've got a second floor or you've got kids rooms, you know, your wife tries to go to sleep, you want to go in and watch Transformers and crank it up. So that's really dependent. And also the, the, the cost has been kind of prohibitive. Um, now that we've built a relationship with commercial acoustics, we're starting to see that although not cheap, we can still do this and now at a, at a much better price. And I'm going to start offering it more and more because not only does it help that sound leakage outside of the room, but it also helps control that inside of the room as well. We're, we're really actually super excited about this relationship. So yeah, one thing I'm wondering, uh, Walker, maybe you can tell us is a room that's untreated in terms of sound isolation versus one that is treated mm -hmm. with the MLV wall blocker. Um, how much do you think does that lower the noise floor within the room? Is it like a 10 dB di difference or is it a 20 dB difference? Mm -hmm. Is there like, is there any information that you have based on what you guys have done with installs that can give you some 
Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the one thing we kind of pride ourselves in here is that we, we're not a we block sound good kind of company. Everything is based on numbers and STC ratings. Uh, your first layer of wall blocker will get you a delta or an improvement on the STC about seven points, which is pretty good. A 10 STC or DBA increase would be doubling of the sound or halving of the sound. So you're basically cutting out an extra, extra 40% or so by adding a single layer. But you do get diminishing returns. So just like stacking drywall on drywall on drywall, you don't just want to keep on adding MLV. Once you have one to two layers, you want to start looking at other ways to soundproof. Gotcha. So guys, the one really important thing that you have to understand is when you make a room quieter from allowing noises to come from the outside, it gives you more dynamic range in your system. So if you're cutting 10 dB of noise in your room, now you don't have to turn the volume up 10 dB louder to hear you know, all the details in the sound that you couldn't hear that were being masked by noise coming in the room. So we're really big, as you know, on dynamic range in loudspeaker systems and in just playback systems. And I want to show you guys how to increase the dynamic range without having to go out and buy more expensive amplifiers or bigger speakers and just to get better fidelity and also not piss off your neighbors. That's the real, the real goal is if you're living, if you're living in a, you know, if you're living in a community where the houses are only six feet apart, which is most of the communities these days are about six feet apart, you're gonna need some type of sound isolation, especially if you're a bass head and you like to play the music really loud or you're hard of hearing like this guy over here. <laughs> so guys, I hope you like this video. We're gonna be doing more videos with Walker. This is one of many. And uh, we're gonna really get into this whole topic of sound isolation. We're gonna have him come visit the house, you know, go over with the builder, what we're gonna be doing behind drywall and also do the room acoustics as well. We're gonna be looking at some solutions there. So please like this video, subscribe to our channel so you can get more videos like this. Don't forget about our Patreon channel at patreon.com slash audioholics. You get a lot of benefits becoming a Patreon member. You can direct access to myself and I'll even let Don on the channel. He, he might do another singing uh, session for you. So there's so many options to you guys. I hope you enjoy this. And until next time, my friends, keep listening. Our number one flagship. Let's start off. Let's mm -hmm. do that over again. Let, let, Just keep going. Let me do that over. Okay. Okay. Go. All right. We'll do it one more time. Uh, our top products range from our flagship wall blocker, which can re uh, remove one to three layers of drywall. Uh, let's run that one more time. Sorry. Okay. It's been, it's been a hot minute since. It's okay, bro. Yeah. It's all good. I, I practiced all the answers, but I thought it was gonna be like more like question and answer. I get nervous. Well, Sometimes we'll I do. When he, does, when he interrupts, just let him do his thing. Eventually, he'll stop, and then we can. He's just, a natural on camera. We could, we could like, cut. Give me that. Give me that. We could cut most of it out. Anyway. So mm -hmm. I cut his babbling.